In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use Family Historian to export your genealogy project data to a GEDCOM7 file, and also how to import from a GEDCOM7 file into a new Family Historian project. When GEDCOM7 was announced by Family Search, a new file type was also introduced at the same time called GEDZIP. A GEDZIP file stores within it both a GEDCOM file and any associated media files in compressed format. I will also be demonstrating how to export to a GEDZIP file and how to import from a GEDZIP file again into a new Family Historian project. It may be that you want to incorporate the data from a GEDCOM file or a GEDZIP file into an existing Family Historian project. I will look briefly at how to do this too. The example project that we're looking at is the Family Historian Sample Project. To export it to a GEDCOM file, click on the File menu and then choose Import Export, then Export, then GEDCOM file. Set the destination to GEDCOM 7. Uh, in this case I'll choose to add all of the individuals to the project and I'll leave the uh, other options at their default settings. If you want to know what they mean, click the Help button. Then press OK. Give your new GEDCOM file a name. I'll just call this my GEDCOM 7 file. And click Save. Now, to import that GEDCOM 7 file back into a new Family Historian project, first close your existing project. This takes us to the project window. At the moment, we've only got one project, which is the Family Historian Sample project. Now we're going to create a new one by importing that GEDCOM 7 file. So to do that, we click New Project, then choose Import a GEDCOM 7 file, click Browse, and select the file we just exported. Uh, give the new project a name. I'll just I'll call it my new my GEDCOM 7 project. Click Finish, and there we are, and it's brought uh, all the project data back in. Now you may notice that uh, it appears to have brought the images back in. We're looking at the images. It, uh, what's actually happened there is the GEDCOM file does not actually store any image data. It just supports links to uh, files on your hard disk. These links have been preserved. However, if I gave this GEDCOM file to somebody on another computer and did not also give that person uh, the associated uh, multimedia files, they wouldn't see any of the images. And that's where GEDZIP comes in. If I want to give the person not just the, the, the data, but also the images, the way I, I need to do that is to use GEDZIP. So I'll now close this project. You see, we now have two projects. There's uh, the original Family Historian sample project and, and the new project we just created. I'll go back to the Family Historian sample project. And this time I'll export it as a GEDZIP file. And to do that, I click on the File menu again, and again click on Import Export and uh, then click on export, then GEDZIP file, GEDCOM and media. It asks me if I'm planning to re-import this file into Family Historian. I'll say no, and it automatically sets the destination as GEDCOM 7. I'll again add all the individual records. You can choose that. You've got various options with media and media records. You can choose to include all of them or exclude all of them or a list. I uh, see the help for more details on these options, but in this case, I'll include all of the media. Press OK, uh, and I'll give my uh, the file I'll just call this my GEDZIP file. Now that has exported all the data, uh, the GEDCOM data, but also all the uh, media files to that GEDZIP file. So if I now want to incorporate, if I now want to import that data back into a new project, click Close Project, click New Project, and this time choose Imported GEDZIP file, GED Common Media. So I'll click Browse. I'll select the, uh, the GEDZIP file that I've just exported. And I'll give my new project an appropriate name. 
click finish and uh, all the data has been brought in and this time although it's not obvious uh, the media files have been transferred so uh, if I gave the JEDZIP file to somebody on another computer those images would come across if I gave just the JEDCOM file uh, the images would not come across okay what happens if you want to import into an existing project let's go back close this project we'll go back to the family store and sample project let's say I wanted to import from either of these two projects into family historian sample project what I do is I go to open the family store and sample project and then I would click merge compare file uh, and this allows me to merge in the data from any family historian project I'll select let's say my JEDZIP file select the project select uh, suggest candidates for matching and of course they all match because uh, it's the same data fundamentally uh, and then I can click merge to merge them in